this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, here to share a dream from Nikki, one of our viewers. Listen. Hi, Pat. I hope you're doing well. I had a dream a few weeks ago that I would like to share with all. In my dream, I was standing in the front yard with a family member, friend, neighbor, talking, and they mentioned that they had something important to do and wanted me to take their baby and watch it for a while as they were in a hurry. So I took the baby home with me next door and watched it for a while, then realized that it was getting late and about to get dark. So I decided I should probably be getting the baby back home to them before dark. I picked up the baby and started walking next door to take it home. Suddenly, I heard a helicopter and it was flying towards the houses over a large open field from behind them, dragging a very large dragnet, probably as wide as a football field. The feeling and understanding I got immediately was that it was being used to capture me and people like me, blacks, poor, and Christians. And in very large numbers, and it was stealth and highly effective, the helicopter was dark black with no emblems or signs or writings on it, but I did see lights on it that I believe were blue and red and alternating, flash, alternating and flashing, and a white light that was a constant, like a spotlight, used for seeing and possibly searching through the dark. I thought for sure that I was going to be captured and the baby with me because there appeared to be no way of escape. I believe the Lord allowed me to see the pilot's face who was flying it. He was white and had a dark cap and uniform as a police or military person. He, his face appears focused and very intent on capturing capturing me with the baby and as many blacks, poor, and Christians as possible. Although it seemed like it was about a quarter mile away, the helicopter with the extremely large dragnet arrived quickly, even before I could get halfway to the neighbor's house. Then I started to think there was no way I could beat it and was terribly afraid. When I suddenly was shown in my mind two large boulders, stones, in the backyard between the houses. And I believe the Lord told me in my spirit and guided me, led me to get down between the rocks quickly. As soon as I did so, with the baby in my arms, the helicopter with, ex with the extreme large dragnet came flying over dragging the net on the ground quickly and with precision. Mm. Then for a moment, I could see me at, with the baby going and kneeling down between the large rock stones from out of my body before it arrived. Watching the net go, go drag over the rocks and narrowly missing us, I think the Lord wanted to show me that he would guide us, hide us, and protect us from our enemies and not allow his people to be captured. As soon as the pilots thought he had captured us, I could see the helicopter gain altitude quickly so as to lift the net suddenly so that absolutely none would escape. I inquired of the Lord about this dream and asked if it was of him and if I should share it with others, if it was of him and from him. And he did say it was, and to share it with others. This year alone, I have had nearly a dozen dreams as well as visions, not to mention many more of things to come. Please inquire of the Lord to confirm. We are to trust in the Lord always. And at all times, no matter what the situation. Thank you so much, Nikki. Now, this is Pat's Two Cents.
We do have to trust God, you guys. I have walked through a pack of, of dogs, bound them in the name of Jesus as they were on their way to attack me. They stopped and they were muddling around like they couldn't even, they had no more awareness of me being there. And I really wondered if God had made me disappear before their very eyes. God can do such miracles. When you face your enemy, there was a story about an Asian woman who was getting ready to be shot down by a firing squad because she stood for God. Listen to this. She was a born-again Christian. Jesus was her Lord and Savior. And these military men, there was a long firing squad. It had to be at least 10 guns aimed at her. And they began to shoot when the guy said, fire. She was blindfolded. They began to shoot. She heard the guns. She heard the bullets all around her. But not one hit her. We have no need to fear. When it got totally quiet, all of a sudden her hands were loosed. She pulls a blindfold down. All the soldiers are prostrate on the ground, totally unconscious, not dead, unconscious. And this bright light is beaming on her from the sky. And she was able to escape. God can work those kind of miracles. He has, he does, and trust me, you guys, he will. But we have to be totally sold out to him. Some of us will die for God's sake because Jesus died. His disciples died. I mean, so many people died, but guess what? They have such a great weight of glory in heaven. So either way you win, but know that when God protects you, God tells you you won't get hurt. He's got this. Oh, baby, you can almost play your fiddle going through it because you will not be hurt. There is nothing. When God is for you and you are meant to still be alive because there's more purpose in your life, no, no nitwit on this earth, no demon in hell can take you out. Not without God's permission. They cannot take you out. You live holy. You stay committed to God and you watch him protect you supernaturally. You watch him shield you, warn you, guide you, tell you where to go and what to do. Oh yes, God is more than able.